What's up guys, HK here bringing you uh, a closing review on Star Wars Rebels Season 2, the first half. So we got two more episodes left to discuss quickly. Um, so yeah, let me see. We did the premise of part 1 and part 2 and then you had the 3 and then you had the 3. So technically this will be episodes... really? Episodes 9 and 10? Huh. I thought there would be more. Oh no, episodes 10 and 11. My bad. Seriously, wow, I can't count. Anyway, episodes ten and eleven, if if you if you if you include the premiere episodes, so yeah, these ones kind of continue the main storyline. So we kind of we basically go back to the Inquisitors with episode ten, which I thought was a decent episode until the end when it got good. Uh, this episode uh, is about the Inquisitors going around collecting Force children, or in this case, baby Force babies. So basically, babies who have a connection to the Force. One of them gets kidnapped and a whole ship gets slaughtered, I mean, and which is uh, pretty violent, I guess. I mean, well done for the series going a bit dark. Uh, what I like about it is how it doesn't necessarily show the violence, but you get the, the, the gist and the idea of what actually happens, so that's pretty screwed up. And uh, yeah, you have the, you have the you know, rebel members, you have Ezra and Zeb, and I was Chopper, yeah, Chopper's in this episode, Kane, pretty, pretty much everyone. Uh, going going in to find out what the hell is going on, uh, they you know they rescue one of the force babies that managed to escape from the Inquisitors when they came knocking you know looking for them, and they manage to save it. But then they get involved in a chase with the Inquisitors and they're trying to run away from them. And then you've got Ahsoka, who's doing her own little mission in terms of trying to find out who Darth Vader is, which kind of confirms to us that yes, she doesn't know who. Darth Vader's at this very point. She said something, but you know she's going around doing her thing, and that's pretty fun as well. And by the end of the episode, uh, you got the characters getting cornered, and then the Inquisitors coming in trying to get the child and to kill them. And then, uh, hooray, hooray! Ahsoka shows up in her all her badass glory, and she gets two lightsabers out and uh, turns them on. They're white. They're white lightsabers. Wow! And we get a kick-ass lightsaber fight between her and the Inquisitors and she pretty much owns both of them and what's interesting here is that the Inquisitors are pretty much trying to one of their mission objectives is to look for Ahsoka and capture her. I don't know if it was kill or forget uh, it's, it's definitely capture because Darth Vader obviously being who he is wants to turn his apprentice to the dark side so yeah that's one of the cases here and by the end you know you've got Ahsoka kicking ass and escaping with everyone else getting the babies and escaping and getting the hell out of there and uh, the next episode of the, that does tie in with where the previous episode ended because uh, Ezra foolish heartedly makes a mistake of saying something where out in the open where he thinks he's alone with, with one of the children and you know the seventh sister has got these weird drone spider mini devices that manage to record what Ezra's saying so they find out where the rebels hideout currently is and they they attack they go there and they attack and that's pretty much where the episode the, the final episode of uh, the first half of season two begins with them attacking, I think it was Gale, Planet Gale, wasn't it? And uh, the rebels making an escape attempt. But then Ezra, at the same time, he starts having visions of his parents. And uh, yeah, we pretty, we pretty much get a conclusion and answer in terms of what happened to his parents. This is one of those things that was there since season one and season two. And now we kind of get a wrap up on that. Which will obviously lead into what weather we have for the for the next season. But yeah, the way this episode begins and ends, it's pretty much a journey because you've got these you've got the rebels escaping the Inquisitors and the Empire, but at the same time you've got Kane and taking Ezra agreeing to go with him to go and find his parents if they're alive. Uh, though though Hera and Kane do tell Ezra that they did get information that they were located on a prison planet and there's like thousands of them, but. And then the chances of them being alive or being found is very, very low. But, you know, Caden sticks with Ezra, which is great. Which is something that, you know, I think it's it's very nice to show the contrast between Kanan and, I guess, Obi-Wan's relationship with Anakin. Because Anakin had these screwed up visions. And Obi-Wan never really kind of helped him about it, to be honest. You you know, if it, if it had been Qui-Gon that had taught Anakin... Um, you can be definitely sure that Anakin would not have turned to the dark side, I think, because Qui-Gon would have probably helped him out and everything. Like, if he had those visions, he probably would have gone with him to Tatooine to rescue his mom. But, you know, with Obi-Wan, he didn't really do it. He's like, oh, it's just dreams. They'll go away, and Yoda and his bullshit. 
But with Kanan and Ezra, the relationship is very different. Kanan understands uh, the closeness that Ezra has, you know, with his family. Something that Kanan never did because, you know, Jedi were taken away from their families. And Kanan understands it very brilliantly, as does Harold, as, as does everyone else. And, you know, Kanan agrees to help Ezra find his parents if they're alive. And he goes with him on this mission to 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 a planet to find out where they are you know Ezra keeps you know he needs the clues from his visions to to find someone and by the end of the episode they meet with uh, the previous governor of Lafau and you find out you know he pretty much t tells him what happened you know they were in prison they were captured and when Ezra made his big message transmission in at the end of season one uh, every, every prisoner heard this and his parents caused, uh, you know, a coup, you know, a riot to escape. It, it, it succeeded, people escaped, but they were caught and killed. So yeah, that's the confirmation that his parents are dead, which I guess was, I guess we all pretty much knew that, but it's nice to have a conversation. It's nice to have this storyline wrapped up now. It makes you wonder where the, the character could go now, now that he doesn't have that subplot to, to tie him in. But yeah, it's nice that's finished and done with. And it was a pretty sad episode, really. You, you, he sees he sees their ghosts or what he presumes are their ghosts, and he talks with them. So it's a nice conclusion there, and it ends with Caden and Ezra and uh, the governor, who who was friends with the parents beforehand. So yeah, and that's pretty much where the season ends on a very sad, but hopeful note. And yeah, we know from we know from recent news that um, episode the next episode episode twelve. Uh, will begin on the 20th of January, I think, and it, we're gonna have our first and last appearance of Princess Leia on this season, which is gonna be awesome and uh, annoying because apparently it's only the only time they're gonna have her in this season. She might appear in the next ones, but yeah, but still, it's good, it's decent, it's a nice way to start the next half of the season. I hope it gets a bit dark on that, but yeah, no, uh, overall. My thoughts on the first half of season two are decent, decent, very, very strong beginning episodes filled with uh, decent to okay character arc episodes to a nice sort of final two uh, in terms of emotion and just wrapping things up. But hopefully the next half will be more action packed and more filled with characters we do want to see more development of and more focused on the storyline. So yeah, I'm hoping we get to see more of that. Obviously, the Inquisitors are going to play a big, massive role, I guess, from now on. Because I think with this episode, the characters were very much horrified to find out that there were more than one Inquisitor. So yeah, everyone's pretty much tense and confused about that. And they're wondering how this is possible. So yeah, it would be nice to get an answer on that to see how many Inquisitors there really are. But yeah, overall, decent. I can't wait for the next half. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked that. As usual, like, subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.